Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. Today I'm looking at an alpha demo early build of Island of Mine. It kind of has forager vibes. You get to hang out on your little locale, small little starting island, continually collecting more materials, building things up, adding to your island, and fleshing things out. It's a super early look. I think the developer said they feel that it's maybe 5% of what the finished game will eventually be. I like the little, like, I don't know, pompadour forwards. That's what I'm going to go with there. But yeah, the game stood out right away. I like orange. I'm going to go with orange. And I'm a pasty boy, so I'll go with the... I accidentally just made a full-on ginger. It's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this game's not finished yet. Alpha demo. Oh, there you go. 5%. I hope you enjoy it. But yeah, it looked like, to me, it had enough going on. Like, a solid hour or two of content that you could mess around with. And that was plenty enough to maybe get going on things. I lost my hairdo. I don't get to, I don't get to have hair. That was a, a, a early luxury that we've managed to already lose. But we do have berries. At least we have that going for us. Clearly I meant to just like buy up all the cheap properties first to gather up some early resources. And then I can worry about other decisions after that. We have the ability to make a workshop. We have the just general ability to craft at all. <laughs> and we have plenty of planks to do so. There we go. I don't know. You could sell. You could sell materials for gold. That makes a lot of sense. And I guess I, I can just start by probably punching the hell out of that. No. Can't can't do that. But maybe it gave me the, the materials needed. Level 1 axe just needs one plank. It's weirdly impressive to be able to create an entire whole ass axe out of one singular plank of wood. I in no way believe <laughs> that this will hold up. That this will be able to do more than cut one fifteenth of a tree. It's not going to last. It's, it's, it's asking a lot. But then we'll have all the planks we need to make all, all the wood, to make all the planks, to make all the axes. So it doesn't matter if the axe is garbage. Because we'll, there's so much more we'll be able to do with it. <laughs> Limitless possibilities. I don't really feel that I need any of that right now. No, I kind of would just need to be able to create things like like planks. I, I never figured that one out, did I? Pretty pretty limited in, in my own abilities here. Rearranging unlocked. Rearranging what? The island? Oh, you can just move structures around. Okay, that's a, that's a good, nice, that's a nice thing to have. Music unlocked. <laughs> this reminds me of Achievement Unlocked, the old Flash game series, where you start with nothing and it continually gets built out. Bush unlocked. <laughs> you can start finding bushes. Oh my god, the leap in price. There's a fancy neighborhood there, right along like a, a cushy river valley, beautiful view. I can't think of possibly anything else that that could be to be so overvalued that's uh, a above and beyond i don't care what is on that island it ain't worth it character progression unlocked well i'm glad to have invested in that when i did there was a couple other cheap islands i could have went to first feels nice to, feels nice to be working towards something maybe i'm working towards growing my hair back in treating my roots well and allowing scalp massages and things to get those follicles stimulated. I have stamina, I'm guessing. I thought maybe that was measuring my axe. I should eat or drink something. Or can I, ju I, I just wait it out? <laughs> so, so I, I guess I could buy up property in the hopes that food will be available. It seems inconsequential to me. I couldn't possibly have imagined that eating would be necessary. Can't give that tree time to heal. Gotta kill that tree real good. <laughs> That's crucial to my game strategy. The berry bush will now appear. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I totally have berries. I can just chow down on those. Ooh, but I also have delicious apples. I don't want to remove... I didn't really want to pin it either, but... I, I kind of wish I could just eat it straight out of my my bag. Chomp chomp. 
There we go. Max health. Max stamina. It doesn't matter. It was low and now it's not. So I, it's a good thing regardless. Sticks. That's where we're going to get our sweet, sweet, juicy s sticks. Now the world is our oyster. We've evolved past what cavemen ever could have thought possible. We have sticks to work with. Hell yeah. Hey, give me those sweet berries. It's probably in my best interest to build the island out as quickly as I can to find more new things. Feel free to check out my to-do list. You'll be rewarded with coins for completing tasks. Chop trees, rocks, bugs, enemies. Pretty simple stuff that I, I was kind of planning to do anyways. You pushy little shrew. That's what, that's what I think of your recommendations. Cotton shrub will now appear in the world and the sewing station. In case I want to make myself some sweet new coveralls. Maybe a hat to hide my my freakish head that apparently has never grown a single hair in its entire life. I don't know how that came to be. I am shy. I'm shy a little bit of wood there. And I'm just a quiet little guy. <laughs> shy in every sense of the word. Oh, we'll be leveled up in no time. Then just you wait. The sky will be the limit. Either the sky or just the extent of the island that I'm hanging out on. Okay, I, I like that. Yeah, you got like a tree to invest in. It's very Forager. I feel like the game clearly lifted a lot of inspiration from something like Forager. And so hopefully along the way, it finds ways to distinguish itself. So it's not just like a total clone of that game. Oh, I have branches that would need to be made into sticks. Oh, I, pro I probably could have queued that up. I did not expect that to be a process that would take time. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think your your axe can actually break. That's I'm. It's a little bit of a relief, honestly. It seemed like it was going to be a pain in the ass to rebuild your axe every five seconds when this thing inevitably shattered because it really <laughs> shouldn't be capable. Oh, you can still keep chopping. You just get slowed down by it. I think the inventory management could immediately be improved because it would be very helpful to be able to pin certain things to certain hotkeys and then even if I ran out, oh no these are just berries anyways, they aren't apples so that's why they're not, they are just staying down there. So it still works totally fine, it's an, I'm complaining about a non-issue. Being able to queue up things would be useful but maybe that comes with further I don't know, exploration, further advancements. You're not supposed to start with that ability. I need, I need some planks. Desperate for planks. You got, got just a case full of planks for me? Tons of honey. Honestly, didn't expect that at all. It's a consumable. That's, <laughs> all right. It's weird to find a chest full of honey because beehives are basically natural chests full of honey so it makes me feel like maybe I should have just found that. Oh you can queue it up as long as you have the materials to queue up multiple. All right, all right, but the, the minor things that I'm finding along the way that I'm choosing to nitpick about are being immediately undone in real time within 20 seconds of me bringing them up. So maybe I'll wait till deeper in the game <laughs> to start picking things to, to pick apart. I'm weirdly excited for my improved axe, but I'm kind of a ways away from that. So I'll just gather up a bunch of uh, fun branches. Oh, I didn't, I didn't uh, upgrade myself. One skill point, run faster, more stamina, gain XP through crafting, sawmills work faster. I, the way, the speed they're currently working is frustrating. It made me do that one. I was clicking around and I had to do that one for some reason. Food is more effective. 5% chance to get coins from mining. Oh nice, you can totally hotkey your way through eating up your berries there. It doesn't say that anywhere, but if you hit two then you do just automatically do that. Ah, there, that's what I was saying. Now I did find an apple and it didn't automatically exist down there. Maybe that would be toggleable because people wouldn't always want 
to be locked into picking up. Inventory management can become so frustrating in games like this. Even in Forager, you so frequently end up with stuff in your inventory you don't want, and you throw it on the ground, then you accidentally pick it back up again, and then it's occupying space that you were trying to save to put something else in your... I don't know. It can just be a pain. So I hope that this game has ideas of how to uh, outdo or overcome some of that. Yeah, I'll take some some stuff. Oh uh, man, you start over. You're zero out of six. I kind of wish that it kept track of them so that it was zero out of four. Then after you've mined four, it goes to four out of 10. So you're still adding six, but just in case you totally forget to check in on it, you're not losing that progress. Maybe that's supposed to be like, a, uh, it's a you thing that you're supposed to be more efficient about it and more careful with how you're using your time and resources and remembering to check in on those sorts of things. But like, I don't know, I feel, I would feel a little short changed in that situation, I think. Selling all or selling in bulk would be greatly appreciated. The way I had to go about that was a, a notable pain in the butt. Okay, a uh, blob. They'll now appear in your world. Okay, I better get a, a sword going then. I have been lucky so far. I haven't had to worry about that at all. But yeah, I want the capacity to kill. Of course I do. <laughs> what a silly question. <laughs> we get to put the axe to the test. Honestly, oh, I'm getting more wood per swing, I think. And more experience. But I think it still took the same number of swings uh, and I can't I still can't break a stump I thought maybe that would be something that would come with having a, an advanced Form of attack an advanced form of tree murder Nice level three Now we're unstoppable. I got a couple sticks. I got Lord knows how much else going on. I don't have that much going on. Uh, running faster. I think the sawmill working better. See, now now I'm allowed to like branch out through this a little more. Furnaces work better. And then from there, we're kind of running up against walls of things that aren't in the game yet. I really want like, I don't know, a scythe or something to get rid of these bushes. Or just like... I don't know, a, a Roomba style lawnmower or something that'll move around and deal with this for me. <laughs> because right now, this is a, there's a lot. There's a lot of bushes popping up all over the place. I ain't no gardener. That's a lot to have to think about. A lot. Overwhelming. Trees and bushes? This game is too complex. Uh, totally inaccessible. How is anyone supposed to deal with all these intricacies? Sword on the way is anything on the screen. Oh, we got, a, we got a cheap one over there. I just gotta actually get enough money to afford that. Ooh, our first little bit of cotton as well. You just instantly get it kind of the way you do berries. I could turn branches into wood. You can turn wood into planks. I, I branches are so versatile. Who knew? I might as well get things crafting because it it takes a while so if I just kind of get that going oh you can just hold down the button okay should have should have tried that sooner grateful to have that as an option there's only the one cheap thing left on the island I think 80 is 80 is now the cheapest so I might as well buy that one as well buried chest they'll appear in your world I, I'm curious how they'll be marked but now I also have a reason to want to build a pickaxe. Haven't even found any of the slimes or whatever yet. That's been a totally a non-issue. Not anything I need to worry about. How? Pin. Yes, I want to pin you. But now I have to unpin and then repin it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of how all that is organized. Because it's just kind of... There's more steps involved at every point there than I feel like there needs to be. Wait, I unlocked music, but there, I don't think any music has played ever since that occurred. Oh, I spent all that time building up bur branches, sticks, whichever one of the two, and I didn't even realize that apparently I just need planks to build. 
a pickaxe. Totally on the wrong line of thinking. Takes one plank to build a, a whole axe, and it takes four planks to build a pickaxe. A pickaxe is a skinnier axe. It costs more? <laughs> I feel, I'm getting ripped off on one end or the other. Someone, someone's shortchanging me in this transaction. I ain't no sucker. Ooh, that's intriguing. I like the little musical flair to go along with it. I think... No, I do have my sword. But I should probably have my pickaxe first. I'll wait till I have my pickaxe. Because probably going down into a cave, there will be things to mine in this island of mine. Oh, the title just made sense to me. It's because this chunk of land is not connected to anything else, of course. The, the pun is so obvious. <laughs> Takes a real genius to sort that one out. Pickaxe it is. I should, I should, I kind of want to look into what else. I wish I could interact with this while it was crafting so I could double check. Uh, cancel this if I decide that's not actually what I want to do. Or just look ahead and be like, oh crap, I also need to build the next level of axe. What would I need for that? I want things to work faster, I think. Running faster seems like it would be useful. 15% chance to grab, to build two items. I'm into that as well. I, oh, this, this I'm already such a uh, not fan of, of having to go through this process just to like in, manage my inventory in some way. All right, now we got a selection of things going for us. Ooh, I bet these sparkly bits, no. I was thinking maybe that's where I had to dig for things. Maybe it is. That there's a lot of things sparkling <laughs> and it's really really concentrated well let's try let's try that out it's a lot of planks i got the sticks i got the sticks for it i sold everything all right let's let's get that back on track this is the sort of thing i like about this style of game is when your next task just kind of presents itself to you in a way where you're like oh yes of course yes that's where i should be spending my time that is the next thing I should do let me work on that and as you get going on it then the next thing and the next thing and the next thing start like presenting themselves to you as viable next opportunities to expand and improve things and so I think that's that's well handled so far and it works the the same way a lot of these other mining and crafting progression based games tend to do is that is a rock going to regrow there <laughs> the same way that trees just regrow themselves because that makes sense rocks regrowing makes substantially less sense okay we got a pair of these to, to follow up on let's focus on getting a crafting job underway first just since i know that's going to take some time and so it'll be nice to kind of get ahead of that Oh, we got our first slime how you doing bud cha cha <laughs> he has more health than i thought he would Ooh, but he got some sweet jellies out of him. And, oh, beautiful tree. Gorgeous addition. Great ex extension, expansion of the island. Right, the shovel. Yes, which needs planks. Yes, it's very easy to get sidetracked. Uh, let me just do, like, max planks since I'm... I'm gonna be busy for a minute. I got I got things to do, places to be. I'm a I'm a man about about town. And a, a town is this one singular island that I live on by myself. <laughs> so really, my time is entirely my own. But you don't want to fall into bad habits, become lazy or or complacent. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to live my best life out here. Make this island. One of my own. Alright, I unlocked this one first, so I want to I want to follow up on it first. I didn't realize that was a chest. Didn't really know what it was at all. Ooh, I should probably have my sword out. Do I need a key? I assume that I do. Okay, but the dungeon's not over. That felt like the end of the dungeon in some level. Do I get to go Zelda-ing around here a little bit? Can I make you guys fall into the pit? Because that is a thing that I want. That was just gold I found, right? Okay, this is like the first time since the very beginning of the game I just found gold. I also don't really understand how I didn't, like, take damage there. I guess, I guess it's a pretty effective defense 
is to just attack things in the air as they're hopping towards you. I, oh, bag, B for bag. I thought that was a really poor, <laughs> poor naming. Didn't make any sense to me. This will just have unlocked the thing across the other side. You have to walk deeper through this door than what makes sense. Like I'm continually holding right. So I think at that pace of walking, probably, yeah, you go, you go pretty much like halfway through the distance between the door and the screen. Oh, that is not my sword. Presumably I'll do much better without. I know a lot of the art was done by the developer here, but I think he also took some assets from around like purchasable asset packs and stuff. I think it all comes together quite well. But it's probably also why some of the art feels quite familiar. I don't know why this Jelly King is just hoarding fish to the extent that he is. I, I don't know what he plans to do with them. Is he doing it just to stop me from gaining access to such things? Wait, I may have misunderstood the Golden Heart. See, I keep thinking I'm doing something wrong because it takes a weird amount of time. There, that's a pretty immediate exit. Oh, were you not crafting that whole time? You paused? That's very annoying. I wish that it would continue doing its thing while I'm away so that I can, like, queue up tasks like that. I'll worry about you later. That's a, a later investment. Probably some of those things are priced so expensively because the game has such a limited size that it's essentially weight. Like, they'll probably lower the price and make those more readily accessible. You got a little bit of like Simon Says going on? That was so many more steps than I thought it was gonna be. So I wasn't paying that close of attention. Crap, I started it over. It goes up here, alternates across that. One more and back this way, then across. So I think I had it memorized, but now can I actually do it? Because that's a, it was quite a lot of back and forth. I think it was up once more here. It's funny that it escalated straight to like the most complex version of it rather than being like, all right, you need, you need to learn like a couple at a time. Is that not it? I did that, right? <laughs> Once more, and across, and then finish her off. There it is. I don't know how what I did wrong the first time that didn't work. Ring artifact. You gain 30% more XP. That's dope. Yeah, presumably these will come down in, in cost, and that the game is creating like an artificial plateau or curve to limit your progression until the game is, is a little bit more like complete. In the meantime, I'll just keep chopping away at wood. Grin brings me great joy. Fun little woodsman. Mm, I do wish that the art changed on that in some way. Like once you've completed the thing within it, that I don't know, maybe the whole thing just blew up and, and then became... No, because maybe you want to revisit it, so maybe it shouldn't go away. But it should like put your face on the top or remove the question mark or something like that. So you know and remember that that's something you've done. Did I mine four rocks? I feel like I haven't done a whole lot of mining. Ooh, I, I have zero ingots or whatever those are. I'm a ways away from completing numerous tasks. I don't know who is out here buying all this wood. I feel like I've created my own contained economy where I'm selling wood to myself for my own gold to create the illusion that I am generating wealth in this weird environment where I live entirely isolated by myself. Who am I selling it to? I, there's no shipping vessels carrying things around. I can build a chest to stick all my excess stuff in. I hate these bushes. They're everywhere. They're ruining my day. It's too many of them. You gain a weird amount of experience, though, for attacking bushes. <laughs> like, you gain six just for attacking it, plus an extra 13 for breaking it. That's so strangely excessive, but it's a real good way to farm levels, it seems like. 
building myself a bush farm. I hate the way they make my island look, but they do a great job for making me feel strong and good about myself. Yeah, you beat the shit out of those bushes. You earned that extra level. <laughs> Gain experience through crafting? Sure, why not? 5% chance to get coins from wood chopping. Which, I, that would be useful, I guess, to have a, an alternate form of income. But yet again, I, it doesn't make a ton of sense of where that those materials are actually coming from. Oh yeah, at this point I probably do have enough stuff. Yeah, I forgot that I was building things in excess. I assume at some point this game will probably introduce some sort of like slime rancher type mechanic. Hey, the, it literally did, that rock did regrow. I don't know, maybe we're some kind of immortal god or something, but we may have just spanned many, many millennia to suddenly have a rock just re-emerge in such a way. But I think it did become like such a thing that ever since Slime Rancher came out and was as successful and popular as it was, it became like a real thing that every game that has slimes needs to have the ability to capture, train, and, and look after slimes. It's just like a, a given, a must, required mechanic, you know? I don't require every game to be 100% new ideas. It's development of games, movies, literally anything is entirely based around like taking old ideas and, and turning them into something new and interesting. I, I guess I do need to build a chest. That seemed like something I didn't, I didn't care about doing. But uh, it seems quite important. I have no bricks because I at no point ever have created a furnace. I better, I better go purchase some more land here so I can find the blueprint to make a furnace so I can start doing some of that. Oh, well, I, well, I have no more room for wood anymore. Is, are you a furnace? Masonry table. Very cheap stuff out this way. A uh, home. Well, <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to make that uh, house into a home. It just it spawns in that way. Flowers will start appear, uh, appearing in the world. Exciting. Wow, I'm so excited that I'll suddenly have flowers. I can't quite build that. Ooh, I can build the masonry table. Down you go. Maybe I shouldn't overwrite those trees because trees do have definite definite use. There's nothing else I can do with that, so I might as well kind of like max that out a little bit. Oh, nice. I don't know what I did or when, did I, <laughs> but I'm excited for the money you're going to give me. Defeat enemies! Oh yeah, I sure did kill a lot of them. I do deserve a reward for that. Thank you. Thank you for noticing the work I've been putting in there. Ooh, maybe it's time to start digging around. There's so much stuff glowing. I had to assume something in here over here was important. What was all the sparkling and glowing all about? None of this is worth anything. I found, I found a bone. I don't really care about that or, or want it or need it. I, I like, I don't know, an acorn or something. I don't know what's all going on over there. Don't care about any of it. Don't want it. Don't need it. For, forget about it. Got it. <laughs> it's hard to get <laughs> access to. It's just a tree. So glad I bought that chunk of tree. This chest has suddenly become crucial to my, my general economy here. Remove? Will you just drop it on the ground? I destroyed it. I destroyed those fish forever. I wish that was not how that worked. Because now I accidentally picked up a flower and now I have to destroy it as well. Just to make space to be able to grab more wood. I'm really, really trying to keep an eye out for the cotton plants as much as possible because I want to gather up enough of them to, I don't know, create a tribute or whatever it is that I need to do over here. That's one major thing I'm working towards. Oh my god, my inventory is just filled with crap that I don't want. Oh, I have way too many branches. I gotta stop use of branches for everything. I gotta, the bushes are such an effective way to gain experience and everything, so I want to stick with that, but it's it's working against me here. And now I'm scared to destroy anything in my inventory, because I mostly want all of it. I guess the sticks out of the range of things that I have are somehow the least valuable. I gotta go wide of those to make sure I pick up planks. Chest? Oh god, it's a ways away. 
Oh, ten bricks. Wait, no, I need those bricks. Don't go spending the bricks. It's tempting. The game is trying to distract you. Lure your lure you away from your true goals here. Can't, al can't allow that to happen. Oh my god, I just did it again. I... I sold all the wood. So then suddenly there was space in my inventory, so I picked up all the branches that I didn't actually want. So then I had to destroy them, because now they're just occupying space. It's a, a nasty cycle here. That chest is weirdly crucial. Shouldn't have put off building that one, I guess. This was like the most valuable thing in the game. Oh, you're kidding me. Da! Just build build them. <laughs> Just keep keep going. Don't wait for my permission. Ooh, there's some affordable stuff up here. Thank goodness. I was <laughs> going stir crazy here in this tiny island that I have to somehow entertain myself on all by my lonesome. Maybe there will be a friend. No, still lonely, lonely boy. Nothing. Nothing for me. Nothing ever. Holy goddamn. <laughs> it just got really, it got really, really out of hand, okay? That took so much to build to, and that's all it can hold? Are you kidding me? Well, I guess, I guess take all the jellies, take all the branches. I don't want that. You can take all the honey, too, I guess. I, I haven't done anything with it. And... I guess I'll hang on to the rest of what I got going on. Well, I'm about to have an excess number of branches all over again, so I should probably just sell those. Not even sell. I can't sell them. Just store them. Just store these stupid branches. There's, oh, at least there's no limit in here. Or if there is, it's it's higher than I would have guessed. Oh my god, the amount of times I've done that is driving me wild. <laughs> but finally, finally I can pick up my sweet, sweet flowers and nuts. Gotta load up on nuts. Maybe, maybe this game is about to unfold in ways like more than I expected. Maybe you can purchase all of that stuff in a reasonable amount of time. And it's not something that's like crazy off in the distance difficult to achieve I need sticks <laughs> good thing I put away all of my branches Ooh, I can go around and buy up some new property a, a mirror I guess oh edit your character well yeah I'd, <laughs> I'd like to actually have hair ah, yeah that's <laughs> The a completed character arc. <laughs> sure to take a lot to get to. Happy fun fountain sparkling everywhere. Splish splash. Yay. Your stamina has been increased. Oh, that's really great. That is, that goes a long way. That's very helpful, actually. And that's very motivating to want to actually complete the other fountains that I had come across. I've been saving some of these resources for, like, random things, but no, now, now I know. Now I know the how worthwhile that is. I don't know if you deplete your stamina slow, more slowly. Probably not. The beehive. Yay, bees. I love bees. <laughs> you can start finding bees. Oh, my gosh. That's over the top. Was not expecting that. Cool wizard. Or something? Can we hang out, bro? I'd love to just chat. Know what your deal is. Hello, my friend. Yes, we found a friend. Yes. So many independent little <laughs> things, self-imposed challenges that didn't even feel like they were part of the game are all coming together for me here. My name is Bonky D. I'm the creator of this game. I'm working very hard to make this game as fun as possible, but I need your help. Need feedback. Want to know what you enjoy. Do you have any ideas? I want to hear them. That's that's smart to put it somewhere in the game where within like half an hour or so you will have reached that moment. And then you can be like, yeah, at this point I do have a handful of ideas of how I, how I think I could... How this could be improved and how it should all be tied together, you know? This is... <laughs> What I desperately need right now at this stage is some level of automation. Oh, when you use a potion, it just heals the gold guys back up separately. As soon as this axe is done, which I'm excited about, I'm excited to have the level 3 axe. 
I can work towards the net, which I haven't, I still haven't built a sewing station. So, okay, this, this is creating uh, the tasks for me in an order that I can wrap my head around. We'll gain so much wood so quickly from just a single tree. Get all the planks going. That shovel sure was largely useless. <laughs> I've done nothing with it. I attempted to. I tried real damn hard to make that a part of what I was working towards. Didn't matter. I should probably do the thing now at this point, now that my XP is more, that makes food more effective. I think that'll be the next one I should invest in. We'll be leveled up shortly. I should probably just be breaking these up to harvest some really quick, easy levels. And more effective food. And the rest of the stuff I can't, I can't do just yet, but ooh, look at all that really know how to conserve your energy chugging down berries. I think I'll store my lone bone in that chest. <laughs> oh, there's our first bee. You just hold tight, boss. As soon as I get me a net, you will be mine. What does it take to build a house? <laughs> like, probably a lot, right? Nowhere near as much as I, you would expect, is the answer. The sound effect of you picking up things is like simple and soft and like pleasant, but it also sounds like water drops. So it's a, a little a little strange in that very hyper specific way that probably wouldn't bother most people. Finally, finally I can make myself some awesome cool spandex with a small bag. Would that expand my inventory? It probably would. I want that. I want it very badly. <laughs> and I'm going to build a well. I'm going to stick it in the middle here. I don't know what good it is. It just starts generating water. Newsflash. I'm not really short on water. I got a lot of that. There's quite a lot of that to go around. <laughs> Newsflash. It's really just like aggressively snarky. Much, much more so than than any, anyone deserves, any of these bees. Because there's not really anyone else to talk to here. Sorry bees, sorry to sass you so hard. What did it take to build a chest? Because I, I need more of those. That's a really recurring issue that continues to come up. I should probably build a second sawmill because this is really limiting my ability to get things done. So if I dedicate one of you to just pumping out planks, and then the other one can be like a little bit of a flex use. Eh, whatever I need, it'll be available to me. Oh yeah, let's get that net cooking. Then we'll get a beehive, then we'll get honey, which I'm, I think the only thing honey is for is for, for eating. <laughs> I haven't really even ever tested the samples the game directly gave me. Wait, you filled, you, you completed your thing, you filled with water. Ugh. I gotta free up space just to inspect this water. Okay, probably, probably, I could use a shovel to plant a acorn, right? If I just stick that there, I think I ate it. That was just so totally not what I thought I was going to do with that. The bottled water, though, I, I, I maybe, I, maybe, I, I, well, I couldn't even, I couldn't even pin it, could I? It's n no no concept of what good that'll do me ever. <laughs> it's about as useful as real world bottled water, which is to say like, not really. I can just keep, just keep harvesting it though. A limitless resource, wowee, so good to have. I want a house. I feel as though <laughs> that'll improve my quality of life that I got going on on this island here. That is, that is where I'm going to put my efforts for the next little bit. What are you, you just letting me know that I have a net? Did it, did it build? Am I holding the net and have just never done anything with it? I guess I'll throw away that lone stone. Oh wait, I, I never, I never did it. <laughs> I never built the net. It was, okay, it's alerting me that that's something I should probably be doing. I need another, I, another chest so badly. The am amount of dumb things that are getting in my way is increasingly frustrating. So I want to be rid of them. <laughs> 
so that I can focus on my house. I know I can't live in a chest. Could I? Maybe I could. But I, I think I should set my sights higher than that. Does Tab do anything? I don't think Tab does anything in this game. And so one thing I'm foreseeing that could be useful is you have all your tools at the bottom here, as well as whatever other things you choose to pin. But the tools are automatic. They automatically sit down there and Tab just flips between them. Ah, yes. So then, then I don't have to worry about now I want to, oh, I gotta, I gotta pin my net. But in order to have it organized the way I like, I gotta in, unpin everything else. I gotta pin it back together. It's too much. It's too much. It's, it's, it's definitely, clearly a simpler way to go about that. B. Yes, you will be mine. Just like Ralph Wiggum predicted. Okay. I, I, I crafted a crazy amount of materials. Still not not quite there yet. Oh, oh, so so close yet so far. Oh, but then there's also this down here. So many trade-offs of where and when you use your resources. I'm gonna stick stick on this path. Oh, it just takes one fabric. It's a very affordable thing to work towards. I'm I'm picking the cotton back up because I want that. I want to work towards that and get a better bag. Did I only grab one bee there? I tried to grab two. Beehive. Yay. I'll stick you just kind of off on your own there. And you'll you'll just like continually generate honey. Excellent. Big fan of that. Love me the honey. Old bear. He likes the honey. He never got a chance to see my bee business take off. I gotta protect my perimeter a little better. These... Little slimers are just creeping in here all the time from all different angles. Untamable. I don't know if I needed that wood for anything. I hope not. <laughs> I hope I wasn't building towards anything. I don't recall anymore. One fabric to build a house. Nonsense, nonsense, but at, at least it's affordable. <laughs> Do you know what? This is becoming such a, a pain that I am foregoing buying a house in order to craft a small bag. <laughs> Now that may seem crazy from an outside perspective. That you'd think that having a, a roof shelter to sleep under would be much more valuable than having a tiny little pouch in which you could store the occasional good. But it, my hands are so full. <laughs> it's hard to juggle all these things. I just really want a bag. I realize the house is just like a really big fortified bag. It's exactly like that. They're just perfectly equivalent. That comparison is flawless. But you can't take a house around with you, can you? Unless you're a snail. Are you a snail? No? Glad we... <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. <laughs> oh, here's the bag. Please work how I assume you're gonna work. It didn't change much, but it's something. We're a few flowers away. Okay, okay. You can keep working towards all that. The cotton is actually very limiting. It's very difficult to find enough cotton to build towards the variety of things that I technically am in need of. Copper? Not nowhere near any of that sort of anything just yet. A better a better pickaxe would, would be nice actually. Let's get some sticks built. Oh, did another thing without even knowing it. Mining all those rocks. Hell yeah, let's go walk around and see what other branches of this island are available to be built. I knew there was some that were on the cheapish side. Honestly, I've not been finding a lot of flowers. Hey, the furnace! And we've uncovered it like an entirely new area. Stone bush unlocked. Stone bush will appear in your world. And what happens if I if I chop this down? It still just gives wood, so that's no different. But we have a, a cool new island type to, to tie into everything. Massive new area to explore. I kind of like the way, actually, that you keep finding affordable new spots to build out in, like, these crazy zigzagging patterns. And that it's a late game, long term thing to fill in your island more effectively. So you have, like, a nice, nice amount of space to move around in. That's a house fabric if I've ever seen it. House grade quality fabric at my fingertips. We'll build the house. 
Then we'll worry about donating planks of wood to this fountain. That, that is one instance where it feels slightly easier, easier to stay on top of what feels like the appropriate prioritization of, of events. I love me a good fountain, splish splash, lots of fun, great, great times all around. But you know, hopefully within my home, I'll have like a little tub that I can fit all my splish splash into. I suddenly have tons of flowers, flowers coming up all over the place. This is, I think, where I want the house. Yeah, yeah, I do have what it takes. Uh, like there? Is that allowed? How much, how much freedom do I have over like decorating and things? What? You healed, he healed and made it daytime? Maybe that's a, a, a thing down the line, like, you know, 5% of a full game is still still the whole idea here. And so maybe it's being planned in a way that you would eventually be able to, like, customize inside your house. It sounds nice. It's something I want in this game. It's something I'm looking forward to. Finally, finally, finally did that. And it was full of honey. Joke's on you, I got all the honey I need. That really was just an excess of honey. If I, will it just recover a lot of stamina? I guess I need to need to be in a position of needing to recover stamina before I can really put that to the test. Okay, lots, lots missing. It, chug, chug it down, it, it, it adds a lot. Yeah, as you would expect. I wish the house came with like a free chest and a chest that was like twice the size of those current ones. That would help me out pretty immensely. Let's build just so many planks. I'm gonna get like 15 going from each thing here. One of them will go towards a pickaxe. One of them will go towards that fountain. There we go, I got I got a lot going. I feel, feel good about all that. The main thing right now is how dramatically lacking in cotton I am because I really want to build a better bag. I'm going to harvest a bunch of wood for the experience. I'm going to sell it for the gold. I'm going to expand the island a few more times. And then I, at that point, I think I'll feel quite good about the amount of the game that I've shown off. And I'll probably sold a little bit of everything so I can specifically come up here and see what all is on offer. A cooking pot so you can make yourself some nice, better foods. I need copper just to be able to do, so probably I'll have to keep exploring that area to find copper as a resource to build the pot, to build better food. Always, always stacking up with so many, so many more steps lying ahead. I can, I, I chopped a lot of trees, sure did. Thanks for taking notice. When did I get all that? I, I When did I get all that money? I literally just got it. I did it at the same time millisecond before I noticed how much. Jeez. You've reached the end of the demo. If you liked it, please let us know. So there's definitely more going on. There's more around this world that you can explore and do for a while and like keep expanding these different things. But I imagine most of these will just have signs that say like, hey, that's that's it for now. Chill out. Slow down. What are you doing? Trying to play the whole game in one sitting? Not today. Classic developer move of sassing the player for having the audacity to play and enjoy the game. I'm, I'm joking around. I obviously don't take that seriously. I think it's smart. I think it's smart to create a very full experience and make it very clear where the game will be added to. Oh, I should have had bricks crafting that whole time. Like, literally that whole time. Oh, the furnace. I'm a ways from doing the furnace. Maybe, maybe I should try to build the furnace to see if that's how you get copper. Just to learn. Just to know. It's that entire whole thing of continually wanting to push it further and see what comes next and how, how do those mechanics learn to each other. It's, it's a hard type of game to put down. I don't know where you came from, little chest, but yes, please. I will take a, a nice heaping dose of copper bars. I, I appreciate that greatly. Oh, and a level up while I'm at it. Crafting two items, get coal, gold from mining. Furnaces are faster. I'll, I'll take the double, the double item thing. And another benefit that means I now have enough stuff 
to build a, a cooking pot. Let's let's stick that up there. Candy with jelly and berries or apple juice with water and apples. Okay, cool, cool. These are these are fun. I, I hope they do things other than just increase your stamina. Like berries already do that, you know? Like and honey does it better than than that. So it would be nice if this did something like it recovers stamina and you run fast for the next 20 seconds something something like that you know make it a little more interesting and make cooking food feel more worthwhile than just eating your base ingredients i never put the upgraded pickaxe to the test same idea you gain materials much more quickly and you gain experience more quickly I assume something like farming will be added into the game because randomly just chasing down berries is only going to get you so far and it's becoming increasingly difficult to stay on top of it. Except for the fact that now I'm seeing there's like a thousand untouched berry bushes up here. But yeah, it, it's it's a lot because you're, you're just constantly chasing down food. It's hard to stay in front of if I want to actually mine the amount of things that I need to accomplish all the tasks I've laid out for myself. It's an endless cycle. It's a hard life out there. I did kind of want to save that up for the next bag, but I am also curious if these always just give stamina upgrades. That might be like a, a persistent, continuous, always, it's always what you're working towards with the fountains. And this is nothing new or exciting, but <laughs> I did set that as a personal task, so it'll feel good to, to satisfy one more of those fountains at least. There. Now I think I've probably shown a very healthy amount of what there is on offer. There's a little bit extra clearly if, if you push the edges, especially in that new section here. But I'd say for a starting point of a game and like 5% of a game, pretty pretty solid starting point there's already a lot going on here it's it's fun it's satisfying it's chill i do see oh i'm i'm just shy that's uh, give me a second there's like one more island expansion that's in this particular price range so i might as well do that there it is there's our copper supply took a took a while to find it but there, it's it's uh, as simple as that. Island of Mine, I will have links down below if you want to check it out for yourself. Provide some feedback, whether or not just based on what you saw here today. I feel like it's, it's the sort of game that will benefit greatly from a very involved community. Seeing as it's a, a relatively common genre of game, people I'm sure will have a thousand different sources to potentially pull from to, to come up with ways to make Island of Mine the best it could possibly be. But so far, it's a very enjoyable experience. Thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you again soon.